Today, we are going to be playing with the new e-collar. Put it right there. It's going to be very bad news for the ducks and the geese because we are coming for them. When you bring the e-collar to Revontuli Coast, look at all the different species that there are a collar for on this map. There are 14 different species of collar inside the electronic collar, all sitting right in my hand. So the three that we're going to be using today are going to be Eurasian Widgeon, Goldeneye, and Tundra Bean Geese. So we're starting the Find Every Diamond in the Game series with this video, and we're going to sit here and hunt with the e-collar until we do find one. So I dropped a tent so that I can easily travel here first and foremost, but I can also grab whatever I need. It's right here at my fingertips. So the first thing we're going to load in, I just purchased them, are the Bean Geese decoys. Oh, first we need to get rid of our tripod. So for bean geese, there are three different decoys. We have feeding, searching, and sentry. Eurasian widgeon, we need drake and hen. And, oh, I think we're full. We need to make room. Okay, so Eurasian widgeon, and then drake and hen for goldeneye. And that's our three species right there. So basically what I'm going to do is I am going to set these up in a semicircle around where I'm going to be. And I am also going to put a water blind down here so that I have a choice of what I'd like to sit in to hunt them. So let's start throwing these babies out. Okay, so I have all the decoys out, so that's what it looks like. Quite a lot of them. So when you are setting up to hunt ducks and geese, you don't have to just set it up for one species. You can definitely mix all your decoys together and hunt for multiple different species at the same time. And that's where the e-collar is going to come in very, very handy. So now I am set up. Now I do have the pack mule skill. So now what I actually want to do is first I want to make sure I have everything that I need. And after that, I'm going to load up my inventory so that I have as close to 23 kilograms as I can. And the reason for that is so that I don't accidentally pull decoys out of the water while I am spotting ducks and geese because that happens a lot and it drives me very crazy. It's not fun. I don't like that. So we're going to do everything we can so that it does not happen. So what I'm going to be hunting with is the Cacciatore 12 gauge shotgun with birdshot. I have the Virant 22 and don't know if I'm going to use it a whole lot, but we are going to take the Coleman and that is good for class one and two species. And of course I do have the ammo and then I have the Hyperion scope, the Red Raptor and the Meridian shotgun scope. I have the Quist Red Pro Collar. Now having the pack mule skill gives me an extra three kilograms of space, which comes in very handy when you are carrying the new electronic collar because it weighs five kilograms. It is very heavy. So I don't need scent eliminator, but I threw that in there. So I'm going to grab a tent and that actually brings us perfectly to just under 23 kilograms. So that is perfect. Now I put the collar right behind me. I forgot one more thing that I want. I do want to put a blind down. Okay, so we're going to take the Incognito Deluxe Waterfowl Blind. I'm going to throw that down and then I'm going to grab the tent again so that we are maxed out for weight once again. Okay. Okay, so now we are ready to hunt once I grab that tent. Let's get to it. So guys, let me know in the comments what your absolute best trophy is from here in Revontuli Coast. And here is one question that I get asked just about every single day. I get asked what the best map for Whitetail is, and it is here in Revontuli, in my opinion. I do love this map for the Whitetail grind. It's been pretty great. So we do have some bean geese in the area. Let's actually get up. We're gonna use the tripod first, and we're gonna start with the collar. Why don't we start with Widgeon? Now, if you would like to adjust the volume, because when it is at full volume, it can get very annoying. To do that, you just press escape, you go into system, go into audio, and here it is here, remote collar. I have it down to 20%, so there it is at 80. So that's too loud, I just wanted you to be able to hear it, so we're gonna put it back down to 20. And that will not affect its ability, it's just what we hear. So now we just wait, and as soon as they start to show up, we spot everything. Now, all ducks go to level three. They can all make diamond at level two and level three. And all geese go to level five and they can all make diamond at level four and level five. And they can also troll you at level five. I have been trolled by a level five Canadian goose a couple times, actually. So we have some widgeon here. Eurasian widgeon go diamond at 905. And the rares include Eclipse, Dark, and Leucistic, which are rare and hybrid, which is very rare. But definitely stick around to the end of the video, guys. As a thanks for that, I will drop a keyword. Drop that in the comments for your chance to win a one month membership to the channel. Thank you guys so much for that. And let's find some crazy ducks. How you doing, my buddy? Oh, there's a 
pile over there and I didn't even see them. They were all hidden. You little sneakies. Okay, we have some ducks landing. Yes. Jeez, right down, right in front of me. Delightful. We're taking them all. I cannot get it! Dude! Hitting this is like ridiculously impossible. Ridiculous! Yeah, no. Not gonna happen! Got it! Yes! And I got another one! That was sweet too. Okay, level one. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Uh, okay. Might as well take that one. You know, shouldn't be swimming next to the hunter. It's probably a bad idea. <laughs> oh no, oh yeah. See what I mean? I forgot to put the tent back and now I accidentally picked up a decoy. 76 meters for that shot is a very sweet shot. Jeez, that was awesome. Oh, that's not a bad one. Okay, here we go. Three. I got one. I got one. We did all right there. You always want to reload as soon as you're done shooting. Otherwise, you will probably forget. Oh, oh, there's a rabbit. Got her. So what I decided to do, guys, is come over to the other side and use the collar and maybe ping them off with the 22. We've never been able to do that before because we've always been calling them into where we are, but with the electronic collar, they're gonna come into where the collar is and not to where we are. So being off to the side, I can then spot them all and take out the most important ones with the 22. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. We'll see how it goes. Let's give it a shot. Let's grab this rabbit first. And there she is. And that is a mountain hare. I need a diamond mountain hare too. I think that's gonna be a tough one. This is perfect. So about 150 meters. Collar is right there, 168. So I'm gonna come to 150 so I can be perfectly zeroed and we already have. No, we don't. I was hoping we had some contestants already. Now I have a terrible wind. Okay, so we have one gold knight in there. Let's see if I can get him. Her, 22. Oh, we got more coming in. We got bean geese. Let's spot them. Okay, we have more coming in. It's definitely easier to spot them and they have a lesser chance of spooking when you're a little further away from them. Let's see if I can grab this guy. He is, I don't even know which green dot he is, but he's swimming pretty fast. And one shot could make them go flying. I got him. Oh, beautiful. They've got alert, so now we're gonna wait for them to calm down. Even the one that's alarmed should calm down. So this takes a little bit of patience. Okay, they're calm again. Okay, I'm gonna try here. Got him. And they've gone alert again. So this actually is working pretty, it's working pretty well. Okay, I wanna take this level three out. Now your zeroing is important. Geese are bigger, so they're easier to hit. So I'm gonna aim high. Got him. And they're not spooking. So this is working great. So this is definitely not something we could have done. I mean, they might have come in with the decoys, but the collar over there is definitely helping. We just need something good to come in. Okay, let's go for this level three female. Beautiful. So you could just literally keep doing this and I don't think they'll ever spook as long as you are patient enough and wait till they go calm after every shot. You can just keep taking them all down. So let me show you where I'm standing. So I am right here. Look at the hunting pressure. And they're right over here with all the decoys and the collar. Got them. And they're gonna spook. Man, that's all right. So now you can start leading the shot. Pretty unlikely I'm gonna get any more, especially since I had no ammo left. So that worked especially well for the geese because they are so much bigger than ducks. They're really easy to hit. Okay, so there we have a level two female, $664 for her. They really are pretty geese. Now when you're done, you might wanna grab your dog because he can definitely help you find ones that you might be missing. 
And that is a level three female, $700 for her. And a level three male, still not a gold. What is gold? 2.74, so just under gold. Oh, here it is here. And we do have a gold, yay! 1092 and 1230 is diamond, so not a huge gold. Not too bad, we will definitely take it. And that was 142 meter shot with the Virant 22. And they are really pretty ducks. Okay, let's go do some duck hunting on Duck Island. That would be this amazing spot right down here. Nothing inhabits this island except for ducks. And I actually have a tent there. Let's go. Okay, so now we are on Duck Island. I am going to put my e-collar down here and I have decoys out for GoldenEye and Eurasian Widgeon. So we'll put this guy right there. We'll start out in here. Let's see if I can get up here. Beautiful. Oh, I'm not hidden. No, that's not gonna work. But I am hidden here. Sweet. Now, when you hunt on this island, you will find every species of duck on the entire map. No geese will be here and no other land species. So for GoldenEye duck, their diamond trophy rating is 1230 and their rares are Dark Eclipse and Leucistic, which are rare and hybrid, which is very rare. Oh, I guess we should turn our collar on. That would be very helpful. Okay, let's put GoldenEye. You want to hear something hilarious? I don't have a diamond Eurasian widgeon, but I did find one during a guided hunt and it was a rare, it was a super rare duck and I did not take it for myself. I let our viewer who was out for the guided hunt keep it. So I have found a diamond, I just didn't keep it for myself. So that's the kind of luck <laughs> that I've had, but that wouldn't have been right just to keep it for myself. So I didn't. So now I need to find one for me and I don't think that's going to be very easy. Well, he dead. And you really should have left a little sooner than that, my buddy. Well, it's too far. It's just a one. But you always want to leave the shot. But man, getting these guys with the 22 is almost impossible. It's, it's ridiculous. I'm not very good at it anyway. So this is the sound at 30%. All right, well, let's grab these two and a black tufted duck. They're very pretty, but I do have a diamond of those. And another tufted duck, two golds. Got him! And <laughs> it was on my last shot, oh my gosh. Okay, so now we are in the other blind. Now we're sitting right in the water. So there are drawbacks and benefits to using this blind. You're gonna get much closer to the ducks, but you do have blind spots. All right, splat, here they come. Oh my gosh, and there they go. No. Got him! Beautiful. Now they are very far. Now the one thing I don't like about this particular water blind is the fact that when you are spotting ducks, there's a blind spot. You can only go up so far, so if they fly right on top of you, you cannot spot them. That's the one drawback of using this blind. See, that's as far up as I can go. So then you have to turn and wait for them to fly out of the blind spot to be able to spot them. And splat. Goldeneye, 963 silver, and a level one male. Get him! Oh, I got another one! Yep, yeah, because I wasn't in a blind, it's gonna create a lot of pressure. And there's the one that we got in the air, 81 meters with the Cacciatore 12 gauge. That's a pretty far shot with one pellet in the wing. And splat. And we got another one. That one's gonna be way too far. Now, if you are hunting for rare ducks, I just recommend shooting absolutely as many ducks as you can. It's very hard to tell when they're rare and just have a good look at them when you pick them up. I have been surprised many times. I have shot many rares without knowing they were rare until I picked them up. Oh, something floated to us. We have a 
Eurasian Widgeon, level two female, not even close to gold. Oh, it was a little close to gold. The detail they put into the ducks in this game is pretty amazing. They are beautiful. But I did get a diamond goose that I did need to have every diamond in the game right before the e-collar came out. Let's have a look at that right now. Okay, there he is. There he is. Okay, my buddy, please come see me. Keep my eyes on him. Come on, my buddy. He's coming in. He's coming in. That's him right there. That's right. Keep coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. That's right. Come on in. Nice and close. Oh, my gosh. That is close. Oh my gosh, and he is down. We'll take two. Yes, yes. How you doing my buddy? And we have a diamond gray leg goose, finally. That's amazing. Let's taxi that. That's one diamond off the list. I am absolutely elated. So that was a 21.91 meter shot with the Cacciatore 12 gauge shotgun. And this is where we got him. And today's keyword is gray leg. Thank you guys so much for watching.